What's the deal, everybody? So this is Joe Conta's coming at you with some spoken word poetry. Um, this is a more new current poem. Um, it was written in November of 2011. Um, I'm sorry, I've been working really much more on hip-hop music than I have on poetry, but, um, you know, I feel that this is a good message and it still applies for right now. And it's called The Future Looks Bleak. Maybe we should take Turkey's cue and start a coup. Try something new and askew our political view because our government is absolutely repugnant, totally corrupt, and doesn't give a fuck about bettering anyone but themselves. When they're supposed to help, be the, po the voice for the poor. Stop treating the middle class like a whore. Most federal agents and officials are super hypocritical. They have premium health benefits, penny pinched like Jesuits instead of taking a budget cut in their pay they're taking support and music programs in schools away while buying jets corvettes or a second home down by the bay then say that medicare and social security are gay republicans think all social programs are a scam can't stand obama and believe he's a ham their ultimate plan is to turn his presidency into a mockery or sham so their party can be elected you can forget it it would be unbelievably pathetic and we'd live to regret it i'm sorry but with candidates like Palin or Romney? That's not even funny. I'd even never come back to this country. Of course, there's good old Michelle Bachman, which indicates a gay holocaust could happen. What the heck is up? I guess two terms of Bush Jr. wasn't enough. God, we're glutton for punishment, it would seem, and in dire need of Occupy Wall Street. Hopefully, we'll gain some momentum and attention. Does Congress recognize that this is an intervention? Better seriously get working on problem solving so then america can commence evolving progressives are tired of watering we could consider dissolving our bi coastal partnering since we must just be too big for our own good i never really understood the vast mentality extremes between texas's neck of the woods san fran land and new york neighborhoods it's highly improbable finding compromise like chicken everyone's preference is different because there's legs and thighs but receiving neither is bound to produce riots how homelessness is high when there's so many empty rooms at the white house and hyatts is quite frankly beyond me unemployed peeps are consumed with ennui incapable of living within limited means so like fiends we forget our financial woes and go smoke trees jeez can't we nationalize to criminalize marijuana please now there's an untapped resource to tax but the public swayed by misleading scientific facts therefore or pots outlawed and illegal, although it's no worse than cigarettes or booze, I feel, and actually alleviate stress, especially when I'm so pissed off and upset that unhappiness is the status quo. No access to loans leaves mom and pop shops going broke. They don't even have a chance, nor they can compete with these corporations way too out of their league. Should they just accept defeat? After all, doesn't small mean weak in the war of the elite versus the meek, where the same out come repeats we don't need an oracle to see that the future looks bleak peace and love for more you can go to www.joeconscious.com check me out on youtube thanks